Sitting second in the table, seven points behind Liverpool, as we said, could be four by the end of the weekend now that Liverpool aren't playing. But he will not admit, Enzo Maresca, that they're in the title race. But they're in the title race. I, I think he's being clever and I think he's doing the right thing. He's sort of just managing expectations because I don't think... I think he's right. They're not quite in the title race as far as I'm concerned. I don't think they'll win the title this year. Um, but obviously, the, the, the closer they get, then the more that that question will be asked of him. But he's done a very good job. I, I, we knew he was a good coach, but we didn't think he could manage, or we didn't know he could manage this chaotic club over the last couple of years that's spent billions of pounds, that's basically sort of chewed and spat out managers. Uh, what he's done is absolutely brilliant in his first few months, and I've been really impressed with them. I think, believe it or not, the two games that I've watched them this season are the two games they've lost against City and Liverpool. But in both those games that they lost, they went up in my estimation. Mm. Just things that I saw in those games, I thought, they're OK. And... What he's doing is involving the whole squad. So he's keeping them all happy. That was one of the problems for the other managers. They couldn't deal with all the squad, the size of the squad. He's doing a very, very good job. But I think he's right to manage expectations. But you're right, don't go too far in mm. terms of just... Because obviously the fans do want to feel that they are in with a chance. But I think he's right in some ways. Well, the fans want to feel and the players, Tim, want to feel as well. Because if you're second in the title, in the title race, yeah. and yes, you might not win the title, but you can still be in the race. And then suddenly you're four points behind Liverpool, who everyone was saying is going to win it a week ago. As players, are you OK with your manager saying you're not in it? It's interesting because there was a bunch of kids that won the Premier League at one point. <laughs> and, and I know that was a different time. But... I like what the manager's doing, but I was thinking about in that dress room, those are a bunch of giddy, naive kids. They're, they're going to be thinking, hang on a second, we're playing well. We've got probably nearly the best player in the Premier League. He's one of us, and we could do this. Why so, not? Yeah, and so I think there is that. I, I love the, na the, the naivety that comes with the youth. They're tough. they got partnerships all over the pitch, the, down the spine of the team. There's, there's, there's competition for places, as you said. I, I love the balance of it. And the toughness is, is what, I, what I really liked about Maresca. He, he, and I talked about it early on this season. He wanted his team to be... I mean, he, he gave him a talk into a, at halftime one point because he said, you've not stood up for each other. We know the yellow card count is high. I'm actually OK with that because it shows a bit of steel and toughness. So um, they're going well at the moment. Gary, the very factor that people laughed about with Chelsea was the size of the squad. Mm. But actually, now that they're in Europe, in the Europa Conference League, and they can play one team on a Thursday and another on a Sunday, that's going to work to their favour, isn't it? It, it felt last year, or the year before even, that these, the amount of players that they had, that you couldn't get a runner, you couldn't get stability, mm. that you were changing the team all the time. But what he's got is a very clear structure and strategy that he plays a one team at the weekend, and even in midweek, he made seven changes in the game at Southampton. That was something that Sir Alex Ferguson, you'll know, when we were at United, he, he, a lot of managers say they trust the squad, but they actually don't back it up with their actions. Mm. They literally want to go to their first 11 all the time. Even Pep Guardiola and managers of that ilk, they mm. tend to keep the same team quite a lot. He's, he's being very clever and he's including them all. And I think that's really good management. You can't have 25 players and only play 12, 13, 14. You're going to have a lot of very unhappy people. So what he's doing, I think, is managing the squad. He's managing the game programme that obviously is helping him at this moment in time. And look, I think it'll continue. They've got, they're doing really, really well. And like I say, in the games that they lost, which I think sometimes it's how you lose games sometimes, they still look quite solid and like had a good shape about them. And yeah, I think, they, I mean, I, I did upgrade them after the first game of the season, by yeah, the way. Yeah, the Man City game. The man, after the Man City game, I had them, I think, sixth. Mm -hmm. And I moved them to fourth on the Monday night football we did in Sky. In Where have you got the them now? I had, no, I had them at fourth at that time. So I'll stick, I'll stick with okay. that for now, okay. but they could finish a little bit higher. Yeah, he says they're not in the title race, but Enzo Maresca does say they're going to dominate English football. He says Chelsea for the next five to ten years. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host of NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And if you want even more Premier League content from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock.